This is a podcast from Torvine Voluntary Alliance. Hello, I'm Patrick Downs. Welcome to Word from the Third, where we'll be taking a look at all the big stories and news from the third sector here in Torvine. Today on the Word from the Third podcast, we're revisiting the Liberty Protection Safeguards and talking again with Sarah Livingston. Sarah, hello. Hi, Patrick. Thanks for joining us again and um, doing the podcast with us. So I'm here with um, People First now. I don't know whether you wanted to let us know who's here. I'm Dara, I'm from People First. Lovely. Nice to see you, Darren. Yeah. I'm in, I'm my brother, girl, I'm People First. Nice to meet you, Lynn. Mm. Thank you. I'm Chloe from Blaine People First. Nice to meet you, Chloe. I'm Sammy from Blaine Green People First. Lovely. Nice to meet you, Sammy. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. And as Patrick um, said there, so I've come to see you all today. Um, We've met a couple of times online, actually, haven't we? Um, And you've had information about the Mental Capacity Act 2019 amendment, Mm -hmm. which is a piece of law I was telling you about that introduces the liberty protection safeguards, okay? So that piece of law, as we were going through previously, has now got a consultation out so people can have their say about what they actually think about it. So they've got, Welsh Government at the moment have got videos, easy reads, and they've got the code of practice that tells us about how that's going to work and what people like social workers, nurses, um, people who work in care homes, those people, what they need to do to look to um, make sure they follow in that law. And what that law does is make sure for some people who might not have capacity, you know, and some people in the future might not have capacity. And what that means is people who find it difficult to make decisions because they can't understand something. So what that law is telling us is what we got to do to protect people that can't make those decisions and make sure we talk about what we're going to do to protect them and help them make the best decision for them as early as possible, okay? So... Some of you will um, have heard about care plans. Does everyone know what a care plan is? Yeah. Yeah? So a care plan is something that social workers may write up to say, um, for example, Sarah needs this type of support to help her stay safe. Mm -hmm. So what Liberty Protection Safeguards is saying is Mm -hmm that when we're looking at what we what we need to do to keep people safe or to keep, uh, look, um, make sure they're supported, is think about their freedom. So if someone's freedom is, in, is um, affected, so if, say, for example, going out um, means that someone needs support to do that, mm. it's about... Why do we need to do that? Why does someone need support? Why can't they go on their own? So it's about making those decisions to make sure that people are are safe and it's and it's reasonable for them. So the government have said we have to talk about that when we're talking about what support someone needs. What what do you think about that? About talking about someone's freedom when you're talking about someone's support? What do you think? I think it's a good idea because everyone needs to or help with their life. Help with their life? Yeah. Okay. So do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing that people are thinking about these things very early? Good thing. A good thing. Yeah. So by talking to people about their freedom mm. and making sure people can understand yeah. is a good thing in yeah. your in your opinion, yeah. is it? Okay. Yeah. Great. Anyone else think what what do you think about making sure people have that choice? Darren, you mentioned choice earlier. Yeah. 
What what do you, what do you think about people having choices? <clears throat> people got choices or not choices. You got people got different people like like um people got different cities well. Cities, yeah. And so we got jumps and jumps. And so we got problems in the wheelchairs. No one got choices and help them. So you think it's a good thing that people have help yes. to make those choices then? Do yes. You? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Good, good. Okay. So... I sent you some of the easy reads over and I know Emma have um, gone through the information with you. What do you think about those easy reads? Is there anything that we can... What? How do you think is going to be the best way of telling people about this information? Uh, I think when I uh, when we was talking about uh, uh, before, they said they needed to be... A bit more shorter words. Right, okay, yeah. So people could understand it better. Okay, so making sure there's not so much words in there that people can understand it then. Okay, Darren, you were saying earlier about um, the the type of information. What ideas did you have? Can you remind (coughs) me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a little, like, um... Bigger letters, a bit of photo of them, people with ski on. And you see, if you see, you see, bigger, bigger letter, it, it's better than ski on. Okay, so uh, yeah. bigger pictures, yeah. bigger letters, yeah. making sure people can see them. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I can see you nodding, Lynn. Mm-hmm. Does that sound good to you as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. No big. Words. No big words, okay. Yeah. So simpler words is better yeah. then, okay. Um, people can see it. The big, 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 the that, and people see it then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. And, and people got bad eyes, like me, Sam, and everybody in one world. Yeah. Right? People can see little small letters, really. They need a bit more. Um, yeah. Bigger. Yeah, okay. And um, something else that was mentioned earlier as well is about talking about it more. So, not just once, talking about it a few times. Yeah. So, we can talk about it. Is there anything else that we can do that you think that can make sure that information is out there? What can we do to make sure people can see it, hear it? Talk about it and then have good burger to repeat it. So talk about it and yeah. then ask them to repeat yeah. it. Right, OK. Yeah. What What about... I know some of you mentioned... Um, social media earlier is there anything that you think that would be good to get the information out there on that uh, i was thinking like let's say posters or leaflets okay stuff like that, uh, what was the first thing you said then leaflets posters and leaflets posters and leaflets okay so making sure that it's visible for people then yeah. is it okay any other suggestions Facebook. Facebook, put it on Facebook, okay. Yeah. It's better on Facebook, I don't know why. Why is that? Um no like um, people got taste and then um, people got um, other um uh, fat we got more art fat in Wales. Okay. And people understand then you got choices where you made made from. Okay, brilliant. It's up there, the choice is, is up there. Yeah, so we say there for people then when it's yeah. on that. Yeah, okay. they're on Facebook and people go choice it, have a look. To have a look at it. Yeah, yeah. Look at it. Okay. Okay, so one last question from me then, and I'm hoping that you've got some for me. 
What can I do for, for Gwen and for anyone else that wants to understand to make sure I'm supporting people to see the information? Is there anything else that you think that I could do? I'm very good group and tell them about this. So go to groups and tell them yeah. about it. Right, yeah. okay. Okie dokie, that's a good mm. idea. So a bit like what I've done today, yeah. but maybe look at some other groups yeah. then. Okay, yeah. fab, great. Yeah. Any other ideas? Um, I think you said something about video as well, maybe. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the Welsh Government have got videos on at the moment. But maybe if you have a little chance to look at them, you might have some feedback that you can say, you know, that something that we could create, you know, we could look at doing that. So, yeah, that's a good idea as well, videos. Okay, then. So that that's me. Um, I've asked the questions now. So do you have any questions for me about the changes? Can I... Can I go back to Welsh Government and tell them anything, or the UK Government and tell them anything for you? So is there any easy read versions of the Code of Practice? So you've prepared some questions, and your first one, is there any, any, is there any easy reads on the, on the Code of Practice? So yeah, there is an easy read, um, and that is on the Have Your Say, so the consultation. So there is one up on there for you to have a look at. But you have kindly um, helped us do an easy read within Gwent Avenue. So yeah. what we're looking to do is get that fight finished off my end. We've got to get that translated mm-hmm. and we're going to use that to circulate it within Gwent. So mm-hmm. when that is done, you'll have our contact details on there as well. Mm-hmm. So that those people, so myself and my colleague Tom, who mm-hmm. will be on there if, in case you've got any questions. Mm-hmm. Who has decided on the code of practice? Okay, so the government, so UK government, so this uh, change in law applies to England and Wales. Mm -hmm. So it was England and Wales that looked at that. So people like the Department of Health and Social Care, the Ministry of Justice, Mm -hmm. so the people within government have looked at this Um, And now what they're looking at is making sure what they've decided or what they think how it's going to work is what people agree with and what their ideas are to make sure it can work the best it can be. We're just training for AMCP. That's it, yeah. So that is the Approved Mental Capacity Professional that um, for people who can't make those decisions that the Liberty Protection Safeguard applies to, Mm. if they object to it, so if they actually don't want um, some of the restrictions, so something to do with their freedom, um, they can go to the um, approved mental capacity professional to look at their case and look at those safeguards, those protections on their behalf to make sure that it's um, done in the best way possible and that keeps it independent. Mm. They will be having training, so you'll find some of the information about there and Wales are currently looking at that with Social Care Wales to make sure that the training is good, that people have good training to be those people. And who can be who can be a responsible body? So the responsible body is your local councils and the health boards. And how we would decide who that is depends on who is providing that care or support. So if the council has made a decision with anyone to get care or support to help them with day-to-day stuff or making sure people are safe, then it'd be the council that would have to be the responsible body. If someone is in hospital, it would be the health board. Okay? I think that's the questions you had written down and we've gone through them. Um, there is, sorry, there is something on it. Is it good to have the rules? And then there's been an answer to that. Um, did anyone want to 
comment on that? Is it good to have the rules? Some would have said we, yes. Uh, we was talking. We was talking about any group. We was. Oh, nice. So great. So we all thought it was a great idea. So thank you, everyone. Um, oh, sorry, Darren. Did you have another question? Yeah. Um, really, you said of safeties. Safeties. Uh, safety means that you people have to be off off their job and off in the middle of the people and as I said I said I said early on it's part of your choices. Yeah. But you part of your choice when people have got the choice and people have got no choice and people will stick it out of there and then chat about that. Yeah. So you think it's a good idea because people come together and they talk about yeah, it. Yeah, like, 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 like in the team. That's, yeah, that's, and that's, that's, yeah. What, that's what it's saying that it's being done. So there's part of the, um, the, the law is that when someone is talking about any restrictions, they have to consult with people. And what that means is like what we're doing now today. The team in there. Yeah, so we're, we're all talking yeah. today about the changes, but what they would do if someone was looking at someone's support to keep them safe is like you said, Darren, they would all come together like a team. Yeah. Um, so it would be parents, carers, social workers, key workers, key workers mm-hmm. that's right. So all them people would come together. Um, yeah, and the staff. Yeah. Like, uh, chief, like, like the art factory, um, people first, and yeah. all over the world, well. Yeah. And people have got choices or not choices. Yeah. So how important is it, do you think, to make sure that everyone involved in, say, your life is involved in that conversation, that decision? Yeah. Um, people have got um, a choice. Yeah. And people have got different ways. Yeah, of course, yeah. Right? Ways mean people have got different, different work and different going... Work and keep them got coming out. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Right? yeah. So what you're saying is making sure everyone's look supported yeah. in the best way for them because everyone's yeah. different. Is that yeah. what you're trying to say? Yeah. Okay. That that sounds perfect. Yeah. No, that's exactly what we should be doing, yeah. isn't it? Um, it's a really, really important and people are just. That's, it's important that people understand. You're absolutely right. Yeah. And what we can do is we can keep talking about it until you feel yeah. that everyone understands. Yeah. And it's important to keep everybody in the room. Everybody in the room? In the group, yeah. right. Involving everybody yeah. in the group. Yeah. Okay. From the beginning. Yeah. To the end. So from the beginning until the end. Yeah. Supporting people involved, is it? Yeah. Right, and and that's exactly what I was saying earlier about the liberty protection safeguards. That is what it intends to do, is make sure that you start talking about the things that need to support you and protect you, you know, if you need Mm. that support, and you go through a process. Mm. And that process is only going to be... It's only going to work if you have all those people involved, like you say. And that's what the Liberty Protection Safeguard is. Like a team. Yeah, like a team. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, it was lovely speaking to everyone anyway and hearing some of your thoughts. So I, I thank you very much for that. I know it's a lot of information to take in, but, um, get, you know, you've got my contact details. You can call me at any time or, or, or email me and we can I can come back or have a chat with you again.
If people do want to get in touch with you, Sarah, uh, and talk more about, about the Liberty Protection Safeguards, uh, how can they do that? Okay, so I've got contact emails. I've got my mobile number as well. We can get, we can hand that over to Patrick, and when we um, when we share the podcast, we can pop that on there as well, so that people can actually see if there's any more questions, they, where they can go, and I can send you some links as well to the consultation. Mm. Sarah and Peoples First, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And don't forget, if you want to contact TVA, Torvine Voluntary Alliance, for anything regarding the third sector here in Torvine, get in touch regarding funding, volunteering, any kind of support or governance. Info at tvawales.org.uk. You can also find us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at TVA Wales, or of course on the website. It's all there at tvawales.org.uk. This podcast is produced by TVA, Torvine Voluntary Alliance.